beautiful combination of my favorite cakes. Uh, not just cakes, uh, desserts I would say. Meringue and Napoleon. And I'm starting by making the meringue. Normally I won't do this by hand, but uh, just want to make sure that I, I, I get the egg whites completely uh, untouched, which means I don't want to break any of the egg yolks inside of the egg whites. That way uh, you may spoil all the meringue. It may not rise as it's supposed to. So that's why I would recommend to do this by hands. Just gently remove the egg whites. And that's it. This will go into my one second. Okay, so this will go into my mixing bowl and as you would make your meringue uh, you would think one cup of sugar will be too much for four egg whites never uh, try to uh, lose the <laughs> use <laughs> less sugar for your meringue it will not be mm, that stiff and good quality meringue if you reduce the sugar so no choice here full amount of sugar one cup of sugar um, for egg whites and of course it's a meringue uh, you want to use something to stabilize those um, egg whites I'm using cream of tartar if you don't have it use a pinch of salt or uh, some lemon juice a quarter of a teaspoon or so and you are going to add those when you see the uh, the egg whites start foaming not uh, immediately so this will take a few minutes vanilla and usually with my meringues I use uh, vanilla powder you can use vanilla extract as well and of course sugar you don't want to add everything at once you destroy the meringue immediately so you're going to use uh, to add it in small additions probably a tablespoon at a time and just give it the time to absorb so you get better quality meringue and I'm yelling because I think the, the mixer is very high. This should take a while, so I'll come back and show you the rest. This should be ready, except just one time. Normally when I make my meringue, I never stop in between and uh, scrape it. I just wait until it's done and just once i scrape it only once just to make sure we don't deflate the meringue that's the only purpose and meringue is usually something very gentle <laughs> to handle uh, i don't know what ingredient or i uh, whatever you want to call anyways you scrape it only at the end one last mix and that's it and I prepared a lined baking sheet. Preheated the oven for 350 degrees and we're gonna reduce that temperature by the way. And I'm going to use some of my meringue just to stick the paper, parchment paper or wax paper, doesn't matter. Just to stick it on the pan because we'll be spreading the meringue just to make sure it's not moving too much. And of course you're going to spread the meringue on the baking sheet. The entire thing. And I find that using hands is so much better when um, trying to remove the meringue from this whisk attachment. So if you want to use your spatula, you can do that as well. But normally it will still be stuck on the spatula, on the whisk. So I'll just finish this entire messy process and get back. I forgot to mention that the consistency of the meringue should be shiny and stiff and you can see it's 
very, very ready meringue. And you're going to shape this into a rectangle, probably 8 by 8 by 13 I'd say. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to shape it. We're going to cut and make it the size we need later to use with the cake. So don't really um, pay attention to making it perfectly uh, rectangle or whatever shape. This looks almost perfect and I preheated the oven I think I said 350 300 degrees and when you place this in the oven reduce the heat to 250 degrees and if this will bake about an hour or 10 minutes more one hour and 10 minutes 70 minutes as for the Napoleon part uh, puff pastry dough I mean. I have one of those uh, 10 by 14 rectangle shaped uh, prepared already pre-made uh, puff pastry dough. I'm going to slice it uh, in two portions and just with your fork make a few dots so it doesn't get too puffy and you bake this in 400 degree oven about 20 to 25 minutes or until it's golden uh, and I like my Napoleon dark gold color. Alright, so this is going to 400 degree oven for um, 20 minutes. So my meringue is ready, my layers of puff pastry are baked. I'm going to make the frosting and assemble the cake, as simple as that. And I'm going to beat the butter until it's fluffy and almost white color and start adding my uh, caramel uh, condensed milk. You don't like caramel flavor, just use regular condensed milk. I just cooked this about two and a half hours and I wish I cooked it for three hours, that way it will be more um, stiff and more darker color better tasting, but this is good too. So this will beat until fluffy and I'll add this vanilla extract and come back and assemble the cake and we'll be done. This should be ready, one last scrape and mix and we can start assembling our very simple Napoleon meringue cake. This is going into the sink and the rest we need to use. Um, you may think this is a really small cake because for Armenian proportions this may seem kind of small miniature cake but this is very filling so uh, even a small uh, bite will be enough so the cake proportions if you want to make it bigger use the entire layer and use two of them anyway so I'm going to slice and cut the sides only two sides should be enough and just be, not to make it even or perfect looking just to use these um, crumbs to decorate the cake for later so this will here and this one as well and you're going to save this for later and of course when I mentioned the meringue doesn't have to be very perfect looking because we're going to slice the meringue into the shape that we need uh, for according to our puff pastry uh, size all right and let me just quickly show you. <laughs> okay, our ducks are very excited today. Um, I'm going to slice this in the middle and I'm going to frost the cake, uh, the layers. Like so. And you make sure the cakes are completely cooled down so you uh, don't melt your frosting. And I can start already placing on my cake plate and I don't have a rectangle cake plate as you may already know <laughs> so 
This will, just to show you, I'm going to start by puff pastry layer. Just lightly, I don't like too much cream on anything, on any cake. Just lightly spread this. This goes on top. And a little bit of cream again. And I'm making this with some toasted walnuts and almonds, by the way. I had that already made and you uh, toast them in 370 degrees about 7 to 10 minutes or until you smell that nutty smell. Uh -huh. On this one I'm going to pour some of my toasted nuts. You don't like nuts, leave this out. It's not uh, required. It's to, the, to your taste. And let me just make my space. And I'm going to shape, uh, to cut the meringue according to my puff pastry size. So, and again, if it crashes, it breaks, that's normal. That's how meringue is supposed to be. And this will go here. And I'm just going to quickly shape it. And you're going to save this uh, meringue leftovers, <laughs> meringue sides, to decorate the cake as well. And you know meringue is sticky, so it's a little bit hard to... Cut it. Okay, so this will go on top of the cake and we're going to smash and crush it anyway. So just lightly for now, just press it on the cake and some more frosting or cream and second layer will go. Uh, second puff pastry layer will go on top and again I'm going to slice this in the center frost it and just the same uh, yeah. Yeah. Meringue should be the last layer so you want to kind of press it down Just lightly and cover with the rest of your frosting and Sprinkle with those leftover not leftover the ones we cut earlier sprinkle with those uh, meringue and puff pastry crumbs and the cake is ready and i also like decorating it with some nutella or melted chocolate just lightly drizzle on top of the cake and that's it you can also cover the sides with some uh, almonds slivered almonds or just leave it like this doesn't really change anything you are going to serve this already cut and that's it. I'll just continue decorating and finishing the cake and we'll just show you the last uh, result. And it's almost ready anyways. I'm using regular uh, Ziploc uh, zip bag, small one, and a tablespoon or so of Nutella. It's already very warm. If, you, if it's still kind of stiff, just place the uh, bag in a warm water a couple of minutes or less than that and just lightly snap it and to your taste if you don't want to decorate with chocolate it's not required I just think this is much better looking cake just like so and just squeeze it down and I'm making squares kind of lace that's it as simple as 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 is <laughs> try to make it at your preference if you like uh, leaving the uh, nuts out or adding something else doesn't have to be really the way I make it Detail recipe as always in my on my blog or in the description. Any questions, any comments, I'm always here. Um, thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe.